Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's do something a little bit more simple. But still, these simple things sometimes can really make us confused, so it's always good to see more and more examples when we're dealing with Lagrangian. And what we have here is we have a projectile with mass m given some initial velocity v sub naught, and it's being shot up into the air in a vertical direction. After some time has elapsed, it will have reached a height of x, and it will be moving at some velocity x dot. So what is the equation of motion of that object? And again, what we need to do therefore is figure out its kinetic energy, then its potential energy, and from that we should be able to use the Lagrangian technique to find the equation of motion. So let's start with the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared, in this case v will be the x dot, so this will be equal to one half the mass times x dot squared. And this should be an m. There we go. All right. And then the potential energy, which is equal to mgh. In this case, h will be x, so this will be mgx. And therefore, the Lagrangian, which is equal to the kinetic energy minus the potential energy, can then be written as one half mx dot squared minus mgx. And now we're ready to find the equation of motion because the first thing we're going to do is find the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x dot. And that's going to be equal to, notice this goes to zero, we get two times a half which is one, times mx dot, and then if we take the time derivative of that, the ddt of the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to x dot, uh, that will be equal to mx double dot, which of course is equal to ma. Then we need to find the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x. And of course then the first part goes to zero and here we end up with minus mg. And then we can use this equation right here and we can say that the first part which is mx double dot minus this, that would be minus times the minus mg, whoop, I forgot to make it, minus mg, that adds up to zero. Notice that both terms have an m in it, so that cancels out. And the minus times the minus, well, that will be a plus. When I move to the other side, I end up with x double dot equals minus g. And, in other words, a equals minus g, now g is the magnitude of the acceleration, the negative is the direction, and so therefore the acceleration is a negative g. Now be careful, that's not the negative times the negative 9.8, that's a negative times a positive 9.8, and that is the solution or the equation of motion in either format of that particular projectile. And that is how it's done. 